Hey everybody, Jepitula here. Now where were we? <laughs> this is part four of Penumbra Overture. Okay, there's a... Uh, could be a letter I. So, anything here that uh, starts with I? Primary flow, grease flow, avoid overheating, appropriate valve, Nothing here begins with I, so... Are you serious? Is this where I came from? Wait a minute. Nope. This is a place to hide. Okay, cool. Yeah, just close the door. Alright? We don't need any more of that. No. It says 50 amp fuses, but the box is empty. Still, the contents can't be far away. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it, don't you? Dare impede my progress now. Emergency procedures. In the event of an emergency, all mine workers are asked to follow the standard emergency procedure, detailed in the leaflet provided. Rescue services will be available on their already on their way, and so under no circumstances should employees attempt to aid colleagues themselves or contact the emergency services. This code sheet is provided for use in extremely unlikely in the extremely unlikely event that you are trapped in the mine, with no way in which to signal or otherwise contact emergency crews. In this scenario, you should ensure the stability of the surrounding environment by gently tapping and feeling the rock. Once you feel certain that there is no risk of rock slide, check to see if you have any form of communications device at hand, and attempt to send a distress signal using this code sheet. Should such a device be unavailable or damaged, begin firmly tapping out a message on the wall of the cave. Rescue queue crews will hear you and arrive promptly. Okay, Morse reference. Um, so I got this in my note, right? Yeah, cool. So, that is a code in which I, uh, I can use later on, I believe. Well, that, that would be my assumption, so... Uh, just like everything else down here, it's all decaying and not working. Uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Probably prevented access to the mine proper. Out of working hours, something like that won't wo open without power. You know? This is, uh, something that I, I'm foreshadowing could be a problem later on. Because then we finally figure out a way to power the system, and then the dog will be set free. Yay! Ah, yes, that would be very great. I can't wait for that to happen. Hello? Ah, yes, new room. I can send a distress signal, though. These spare radio parts don't look spare at all. They almost look like they've been put there recently. Yeah, yeah, you know what? There is a guy down here. And he's probably stalking us, let's be fair. That noise. For some reason, I don't really like it. I've got to get a drip. Hey, I can pick up a radio. Calm radio. The beeping is coming from the speakers. Maybe there's someone out there after all. I mean, I can read Morse code, right? Okay. Boys, I'd come to have a word with you myself. But I've got more important things to do than piss about making sure you're all doing your jobs properly. This is from January 1972. Okay. Now, I know there's a certain amount of camaraderie. Camaraderie between you lot. Playing pranks and jokes on each other. It comes with the territory and that's fine. So long as you don't add me to your list. God knows you need something to keep you entertained down here. However, you all know full well that Penrose has some very deep-seated issues with his height. So anyone who thought it'd be a good idea to sabotage his generator, then hide all the spare fuses on the top shelf in the storeroom, would quite clearly need his head examined. You get me? In other news, Jones, I want that inventory done yesterday. And the rest of you, it's not all fun and games, you hear? On a serious note, another radio's gone missing, and you'd better hope to God that means one of you has lost it. Because stealing ain't a pretty word in my book. It's the third one it's this month, which means the amnesty on coming clean is fast coming to a close. Then, there'll be repercussions. Got it? What's strange is, you're all supposed to be working in pairs, so nobody should be able to get their hands on a radio without the other spotting it. When I, found out who's, when I find out who's responsible, I'm gonna find out how they got away with it so long. Then I'm gonna fling them out the snow and leave them there. 
They'll just disappear into the night just like all those radios. Harvard, lead my foreman. Okay, so we got a clue here. Uh, then hide all the spare fuses on the top shelf in the storeroom. We'll quite clearly need a set examined. So, spare fuses are in the storeroom. Uh, on the top shelf. So, this is not it, though, is it? Maybe it's this? I see something up there. Ah, there's a fuse. How to reach it? Yes, I found it. Okay, here we go. They were literally nearby. Okay. How many fuses do I need, exactly? What is this? Ah, yes. The power room. Okay. So, we just gotta go here to the left, and then... Gotta find that huge place with uh, the dog in it. I just... Can't seem to find it. Storage and auxiliary shaft. So, the storage is that way. Okay. Well, we have one fuse, so maybe uh, I can use that. Can I just remove one of them? Hmm. Listen, we've got to figure this shit out. Okay? One of these has to work. Okay, let's see here. We've, we've got to be able to generate something here. Uh, generate a manual. Okay. Okay, so turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Secondary flow. So... We've got to be able to understand these things here. Secondary flow. Ah, wait a minute. So this is an I. That means one. And I can see that these are supposed to be two, right? So... Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Um... Generate manual. Okay, so ensure the area, blah, blah, blah. Uh, connect and confirm the secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Secondary flow. I mean, the two here must mean secondary flow, right? There's a battery symbol on the side, but it's wielded tight shut. If they had some kind of machine for opening these, it's not here anymore. Okay, great. But there's a... yeah, there's this huge thing. Maybe... Can I get this? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so we've got to get the box... Ah, okay, wait, I, I have an idea, I have an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a battery inside there, hopefully it doesn't take any damage. We can push this. If we can break this by pushing it down this well here, then maybe... Hey. Hey, did something. Alright. Hold on a sec. Then we can get the battery up. And get the generator up and running, and then we can do this puzzle thing. And then we sign off. Because then we've been recording for a very long time. Yes, we got a huge battery now. Get up. Hurry. Hurry up. Hurry up. These ladders. There we go. So now we just gotta get the battery in here. Ah, look at that. Boom. We should be set. Now, let's get over to, uh this, the notes, and then generator manual, turn on cooling system. Now it's just connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Okay. I think I've already done that. Haven't I? Maybe. Ah, okay. I, I did it, but I just had to do it again. So that's the secondary flow. I've already figured out that this is the primary flow, and this is the secondary flow, because it has two eyes instead of the one eye. Right, so the next one is... Turn on cooling system uh, to avoid overheating. So the cooling system, what could that be? That could probably be this. I don't know. Maybe? Yes! Because the water is cold and it's for cooling, right? Yeah, that must make any sense. That must make some sense. And then... Release excess steam until pressure is within safe limits. Okay. So... I'm assuming that the steam is this one, because it's... Okay, I got it. I don't know if I got it, actually. Let's let's be pretty honest. I'm, I'm kind of doing this willy-nilly. Begin grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Okay, grease flow. So grease flow, maybe, maybe this? Could be this, I don't know. Uh, and then... Generator manual, and then turn main valve and confirm primary flow. 
That should be it. This is the main one. Okay. Did I get it? Mom, did I get it? Come on. At this generator's age, it's a wonder if it sparks at all. There's probably just been a power surge. I should check it. I've jotted down a note just in case. Let me see that note. Something's gone wrong with the starter motor. Need to get that fixed. Ah, oh, more sh- Okay, so... Aha! Uh -huh. Well, that's why we got the fuse, baby. We should probably- we should finally be ready now. Provided the fuse hold out, so that is. Well, it's a brand new fuse. It's never been used, so... I will do this once again. Either the air down here is getting to me, or I haven't read those instructions right. Okay. Well, f you. Okay. Pull main operation lever. Check energy output. Your unit should now be fully functional. So, I have to do that again? Hold on. Yeah, I have to do this again. Don't I? Hold on. Yeah, I have to. Then, the cooling system... Come on. Hold your horses. There we go. Then the steam, right? Am I doing it right? I have to do this again. Come on, stop being a little stiff. There we go. And then this, and then the primary flow. I've got this. Come on. Don't you dare die out on me now, Fuse. I've got this. All right, come on. Or I haven't read those instructions right. Oh, f you. Is it really because I, I didn't do it right? Oh, we gotta get this right. Okay. Secondary flow. Quite obviously, it's this. Secondary flow is this. Maybe I'm... Uh, completely misunderstanding this. We're gonna try it anyway, and we're gonna do it. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Cooling system. What could that be out of these two? This looks like steam. This looks like maybe waves. I don't know. Let's see here. And this... I don't know. This is unintelligible garbage. So, I can't... I can't really say. So, now we've turned on... Uh... Yes. Okay. Connect. Second air flow. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Release excess steam. Now, the steam could only look like this one. Okay? Let's see. Ah, oh, it's so annoying to crank this. And then, the grease flow. Alright. Begin grease flow, ensuring leakage is minimal. Alright. That should be it. Okay, here we go. And then, finally, this. Come on, you guys. Don't let me down. Okay? Don't let me down. Yes! I got it! Okay, I just... I used the wrong ones. There is light. And God said, let there be light. Now I finally don't have to use the damn glow stick anymore. Okay, uh, I think that's enough for today. I think I've recorded for about two hours now. Should be enough content for you all. If you're enjoying this series, then uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Tell me what I can improve on, do better for next time. And uh, until next time... Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you around. Alright, bye-bye.